Holt, Settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. He's a Jedi Master? Well, the bounty's gonna be that much sweeter then. Nar Shaddai is paying extremely well for Jedi, especially if they're alive. I'm gonna say this nice and simple for your little calf hurting head. Unless you want to wind up dead, leave now. I warned you, but I'm glad you didn't listen. Attack, men! into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Kunda is in danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. Right now, Dantooine is at a critical moment. If Kunda falls, then the Republic may lose control of this system. Still, I'm surprised you were able to get this far. Although you do have your Jedi training to fall back on, every action has consequences, no matter how small or insignificant they seem. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. Intentions mean nothing of a greater tragedy is caused. I need to get to Kunda and warn them they could be attacked at any moment. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the Exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment, and now since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence. Thank you. 
you are the Jedi I've heard reports of. And I am Askul, leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. That is correct, and I want you to help me. According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I am committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. You'd better reconsider. I can't have a Jedi interfering with my plans. There is a considerable bounty on your kind that I will collect on, unless you're working for me. You could have guided the situation to a better outcome. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi.
I don't suppose you found any of those atmospheric sensors. That's great news. My offer still stands. I'll pay you 3,000 credits for all of them. Thanks for your help on this. Here are the credits, as promised. I'll get this to Zeron when I get back to Kunda. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Rook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. 
I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time, so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. I have instructed the militia and other Kundar personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. Here is a MasterCard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Saran. Gun turret malfunctioned. It was bad. Thanks, stranger. I should be back to duty in no time. I feel better. Gun turret malfunctioned. Thanks, stranger. I should be back to duty in no time. Thanks, stranger. Thanks, stranger.
Zeron was right about the mercenaries all along. I guess my ego clouded my judgment as to what's best for Kunda. Thank <laughs> you. 
told to provide you with anything you need. We have to keep the news of the mercenaries' plans quiet for now. You heard what the Administrator said. Each of us has to do what they can to aid in the defense of Kunda. See where you can lend a hand. We'll have time to talk more when this is all over. If you require anything else, Jedi. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you... Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. 
I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kundites. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. I was right about you. You are trouble, but you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? We could use people handy with a blaster. Getting people to join the militia for a short stint would be good. We also got a lot of things that could use fixing. It isn't glamorous, but that type of work sometimes makes a load of difference. Just look around. Plenty to be done. Off the top of my head, the three turrets outside Kunda are on the blink. They went haywire the other day and wounded some of my men, so we took them offline. The men who were wounded by the turrets are holed up in the med lab. But our medic droid is busted, so they're healing slowly. We've had some men lay traps around Kunda, but nobody here really specializes in demolitions. I'm sure there's some gaps that could be filled. The side security door to Kunda has been malfunctioning as long as I've been here. It may be best to just seal it off lockdown so nobody gets through. We got some broken assault droids that have been collecting dust for the last five years. If they were working, it would help a lot with interior defense. If I had it my way, I'd recruit any citizen of Kunda that can hold a blaster. But it's hard to convince peaceful farmers to fight, maybe die for a cause. I don't know for certain. It could be a day or even a week. Depends on how good Azkul is at organizing his men. I'm guessing not so good. Inspecting the perimeter, talking to the troops and coming up with a battle plan. I fought in a war or two, but I'm no general. In my experience, people like you are better at strategy. If you want a hand in making the plan, you got it. When you're ready, come back and we can talk about the final plans to defend Kunda. Back again, huh? I don't know what more I can say to you, but it's nice to see you again, regardless. I hadn't even thought of that. I know the militia will take just about anyone. I need the credits, and would like working with people who will actually watch your back. Well, I want to think it through, but I think I might just go to Kunda and sign up. Thanks for the idea. The Traveler has returned. I hope the Dantooine is providing suitable distraction and entertainment for you. So, what should we talk about? I, uh, have no real desire to put myself in harm's way for Dantooine. They haven't exactly made the Salvagers stay here pleasant. Jaren says you saved him down there. Next time you should ask for a reward. Thank you. 
You still lurking around here? Just go back to Kunda. You're not gonna find any Jedi artifacts here. Except the ones I'm selling. You aren't serious, are you? I'll assume it's a joke, because you don't look that dumb. No, I won't join any flaming militia. I don't suppose you're here to hire us. It's been a long time since we've had a paying job. Some of us are getting jumpy. What if we do? They're practically begging to be pushed around. You've seen them, right? They're weak. You sound like a flaming Jedi. I didn't just mean their weapons. I meant their character. They're very quick to blame everyone but themselves for their problems. So the galaxy has dealt them a bad hand. They should ante up and get back in the game. The administrator is different. The warrior returns. Getting tired of this planet yet? We've been planet bound too long for my tastes. What do you want? Stay out of our way, and we'll stay out of yours. That's the best deal you're gonna get here. Thanks for helping out the militia. What is it? Good to go. Let's move out. any more trouble for Dantooine. I've had enough of it for a lifetime. Let's leave this right here. Let's leave this right here. Let's leave this right here. Let's leave this right here.
leave this right here. Let's 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 leave this right here. Good to go. Let's leave this right here. 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 trouble, but you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? You sure? Once we're done with that, there may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. All right, then we got a lot to do. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. The administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunza's defenses. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. But I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good.
the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. Is that supposed to convince me, Jedi? I was trained by the Sith. My unit killed many Jedi. I'll give you one last chance. Leave the administrator to her fate. She's inconvenient and doesn't know the chain of command. She will pay for that. You have no idea who you're talking to. I was going to spare your worthless life. I see I was in error. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. sure that Don Duin will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Don Duin will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the Administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. There are a few of us left, others still live. We may be the last. We've been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. We have chosen to hide our presences from each other so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. We cannot. And we have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them. By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding, and Jedi continue to vanish and die. You have more questions for me? We are at war, but it is unlike any war we have fought before. We have yet to even meet our attackers in battle. Somehow our enemy is targeting us through the Force, striking, then retreating to the shadows. The gathering of any Jedi seems to attract them like a beacon. So it was necessary to divide our forces and conceal ourselves for a time until we could learn more of this threat. Great tragedies, old battlegrounds, places of suffering, all leave wounds on the galaxy and in the Force. In such places, the deaths of so many echo, so much so that it is difficult to center oneself. By coming here, those echoes serve to mask my presence, allowing me to investigate the ruins and try to find some clues as to who our attackers are. The Mira Luka world of Qatar taught us a terrible lesson. Many Jedi gathered there in an attempt to use the Force to find the location of the enemy. 
Now the planet is no more. Master Zar, Master Dorak, and many more perish there, and we do not know why or how. But all life on the planet ceased to exist. I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead, it has left its echo, like Dantooine. It was after Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. You have more questions for me? We were not in hiding, despite what you believe. This threat is striking through the Force. There's a reason that we cannot detect it. It is somehow masking its presence from us. I do not know. There are techniques in the Force that hide one's presence and thoughts from other Force users. But I do not believe that such techniques alone would be capable of hiding the enemies we face. It does not seem possible. Do you have more questions for me? Because you defied the Council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco? Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You were the only one to come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection to the Force. Another casualty of war. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it is not. Do you have more questions for me? We did nothing to you. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the Force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. Perhaps that is a question you should ask yourself. It is not something I could help you with, even if I wanted to. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. Do you have more questions for me? Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying you have bonded with another? Such bonds normally grant strength to both, but not to such a degree. Are you certain? Perhaps it is merely what you believe. Still, your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem natural to me. And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. Perhaps it is Dantooine. Still, you and you. It is possible that we... You have more questions? Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Why would they attack you? You are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck, and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dantooine. And from there we may decide what can be done. Do you have more questions for me? I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. 
Perhaps I hesitate to teach this to you because of your demonstrated recklessness. This is Julio, a very ferocious form of lightsaber offense. It goes without saying to exercise proper control and restraint when using this technique. It may allow you to eviscerate a lone enemy, but it will leave you open to attack by force powers. <laughs> I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. 